Hi, I'm Peter Glover and we're looking at the pump stop scenario. When a pump stops, the fluid downstream of the pump carries on moving as if nothing had happened. It takes time for the force, the pressure drop, to propagate along the pipeline. And this can lead to some very unfortunate events. Let's have a look now at an animation of a, um, a pump stop scenario. We have a pump at this end, a discharge point at this end. This is the pipeline, and this is a representation of the instantaneous pressure along the pipeline. So if the pump stops now, the pressure drops immediately downstream, but you can see further downstream the water is continuing as, as always. If the pressure drops sub-atmospheric, air comes into the pipeline. If it goes down to minus 10 meters, we get vapor pressure forming in the pipeline which can have drastic events. Now you can see after seven seconds we still have no change on the delivery even though we've got serious negative pressures happening upstream. Now, if vapor cavities form when the pressures normalize these cavities collapse very rapidly causing very high pressures close to the pipe wall. This can damage the pipe wall over time or instantaneously cause a catastrophic failure. Similarly, if we draw large volumes of air in at an air valve, when that air is expelled, sometimes in a controlled manner, sometimes in an uncontrolled manner, either event can cause very large new surge events which can cause bursts upstream and downstream of the air valve. So these are the kinds of things we need to consider when we're trying to protect your pipeline against a pressure surge event. Thank you very much for listening.